Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back with your boy, Luke. Hey, today, from someone who lived in Tijuana for 10 years, I'm going to teach you guys how I deal with the Mexican police. So when you get pulled over in Tijuana or Juarez or Mexicali or Tecate, you're going to kind of know what's going on, okay? Hey, before we get started, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Help me grow my channel. I'm not feeding you guys a bunch of clickbait. I'm keeping these videos short, and I'm getting right to the point. So let's do this. All right, guys, check this out. When you get pulled over in Mexico... Basically, nine out of ten times, what the Mexican cops are going to do is they're going to try to use a little bit of intimidation and they're going to use scare tactics to try to get your money, okay? Everybody's heard stories about Mexican cops taking money from people, ripping people off, scamming people, whatever you want to call it. All right, so get ready. This is what's going to happen. You're going to get pulled over. They're going to approach your car. And just like in the States, they're going to ask for license and registration and you're going to hand them what you have. And then what they're going to tell you is that you've committed some sort of a crime, un delito, whether it's speeding, a stop sign ticket, maybe tinted windows, a simple traffic violation, okay? That's what we're talking about. And he's going to let you know that unfortunately, because your car is an American car or your driver's license is not a driver's license from Tijuana, it's like a driver's license from the States, He's going to look at you a little bit deflated, but a little bit serious and say, we're going to have to tow the car and you're going to have to go see a judge. Folks, and that's where Americans flip out. Do not let this intimidate you. Nobody's going to see a judge and nobody's going to tow your car. It's all part of the act. First and foremost, when you get pulled over by these guys, if you speak Spanish a little bit or you understand it, do not speak Spanish to these guys. Do not speak Spanish to them. If they're going to use intimidation and they're going to use fear tactics to get into your wallet, make them explain to you in English what they're trying to do. And I'm going to tell you right now, most of these cops know a little bit of English, but they're not fluent in the English language. And if you can cut off the communication with those guys, it's going to help you out in the long run. Because the more you understand... And the more the conversation goes, the more they can threaten you, the more fear and intimidation they can use against you. Just simply don't speak Spanish. Don't get an attitude with them. Be nice. Hand them your license and registration. They might ask to search the car. That's fine. Okay. But simply don't communicate with them in Spanish if you, if you don't absolutely have to. And don't give them a hard time. Okay. So here's the deal. What basically they're looking for is a bribe. They're looking for a little bit of money, okay? And when I say a little bit of money, I'm talking about 10, 20, 30, 40 bucks, okay? On a simple traffic violation. Now, if you crash into somebody drunk or do something major, then it's probably going to cost you a lot more than that. And in that case, I can say, pay them what they want immediately and get out of there. Because the more cops that show up on the scene and the further a major incident escalates up, the more it's going to cost you. Okay, back to the normal traffic violation. You get pulled over. You're going to go tell him basically that you're really busy. You have to get back to the United States. You have to go to work and you don't have time to go see the judge. Basically say that. Say, you know, officer, I apologize, but I really have to go. I have to go to work. I'm sorry I committed this crime or this traffic violation. And then ask him, would it be possible for you to go to the court and pay it for me and then shut up? Because then you're asking him a question. You haven't said, here, man, take $20 and uh, go, go pay it for me. Or here, take this money and let me go. Because an experienced Tijuana cop, when you do that, he'll start shaking his head and say, oh, no, that's corruption. And that's another crime. You've offered a bribe to a state law enforcement official. I have to charge you with another crime now, okay? It just escalates up. So what's, what I like to do is I like to ask them, I like to say, sir, look, I'm very busy. I know you're busy. I'm in a hurry. I've never been pulled over in Tijuana before. I don't understand how this process works. Is there any way I could just give you the money and, and have you go down and pay the fine for me? And then be quiet. Now, don't put a camera in these guys' faces. They, they don't want to be on YouTube. Don't hand the money out the window so a lot of other people can see it. You know, have the money cupped in your um, in your palm of your hand. Have it inside the car. And usually what he'll do is he'll 
say, okay, no problem. And what he'll do is he'll put his hand inside the car and he'll be real nonchalant about it. You guys can make the exchange, okay? That's what's going to happen. Again, do not offer him a bribe up front. Or if there's more than one cop listening, do not offer him a bribe if there's more than one cop there. A lot of times there'll be two. When you want to do this is when one is back in the squad car or he's walked off, okay? So that's basically how you do it. And just remember, folks, they don't want to take you down to the police station to see the judge because that takes them off the street and that takes money out of their pockets. No one's car is getting towed. It's all scare tactics. That's how I deal with the Mexican police. Now, if you want to deal with the Mexican police your way, if you decide you want to fight them or you want to hold court right there on the street, more power to you, okay? If you think it would be in your best interest to go downtown to the police station right then and wait in line and pay the judge, you're welcome to do that too. I'm just telling you how I do it. I've never had a problem this way. I'm nice. I'm courteous. Throw them a little money. That's what they're looking for anyway and get down the road. Hey guys, uh, appreciate the subscribers. Like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be busting out a lot of videos here in the next couple days. You guys take it easy. Have a good night.